for these equations, we want to go ahead and balance these chemical equations. And so these are a little bit more difficult than the ones that we've seen in class. These examples have more components. And so if you were to list these out as the elements, you would have many elements to look at. And so in this case, we're going to realize that the nitrate ions are present on both sides. And so what we're going to do is split out into four sections, the two different components you can see on both sides. So we have silver, nitrate, sodium, and carbonate. See those on both sides. Now we write out the number of each that we observe on the reactants or the product side. So we have one of each of these. We have two sodiums and one carbonate. On this side, we have two silvers, one carbonate, one sodium, one nitrate. So one thing that we'll notice is that we have two that are unbalanced. We are going to begin by balancing the sodium. So we're gonna add a two here for our second round. On this side, we'll have two silver, two nitrates, two sodiums, one carbonate. So now we have half of ours balanced. We will continue over to this side and we'll note that the silver nitrate, if we add a two in front of it, will balance our equation. So we have a two, 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 one. And so the last thing we need to do is rewrite our balanced chemical equation. With two silver nitrate, aqueous, plus sodium carbonate, <clears throat> also aqueous, gives silver carbonate solid plus two sodium nitrates. Note that all of the states and the coefficients are included. What about for the next one? So we'll write out our substituents. Now, one of the tricks over here is that our polyatomic ions, unlike up here, are gonna be a little different. So we still wanna only balance four different entities. So we'll start with iron. It turns out we can find the OH here in the water. And then we can find the H plus too. And then we can also find the SO4. So we write out how many of these we observe. So we have one iron, three hydroxides, two uh, hydrogens, and one sulfate. Over here we have three sulfates, two irons, and one of each of these. So in this case, we'll begin by balancing both of the components within this on the reactant side. So we'll add a two in front of the iron, and at the same time, we're gonna add the three for the sulfate here and then see what happens. So in this case, we will have two irons, we will have six OHs, we will now have six hydrogens and three sulfates. So look at this, now we have balanced both the iron and the sulfates and we just need to balance the waters. If we look at this, we can see that a simple addition of a six in front of the water is going to allow this to balance, we think. We have two of these, a six, six, and a three. So we now have a balanced chemical equation. So let's go ahead and rewrite that. Make sure you include your states. For each of these, the aqueous and the solids. Don't forget that the parentheses here indicate that there are two irons and there are three sulfate molecules. And this is how you would balance this chemical equation.